get down to that tonic, because that's the sweet note, even if you get on it late, because that was genius. What you sang was frickin' great. I just wanted you to get go, go one more phrase down for this chord. We've had these calls where they ask me, hey, Rob, are you excited about this? And I'm like, excited about this? <laughs> you know? One, two, one, two, three. We were all together making music. Yes, I'm always excited anytime I make music, but last night to conduct that choir in, in this time, this fraught time, we were just on, on cloud nine. The gift of Bob Roth and David Lynch starting this foundation and doing these concerts around this cause of teaching people meditation with these extraordinary musicians in this pandemic, this is kind of a miracle. One, two, three. The list of songs is I Shall Be Released, the great Bob Dylan classic, which is gonna be sung by the great Jim James and Kesha. Oh, She just sings the hell out of it. And it's become a real anthem of Kesha's freedom. And of course, Jim James has such a great relationship with all that Dylan stuff. And so, you know, there's history there with Jim. And you know, it's just one of those classic songs. And it's actually a song that Dylan didn't make a lot of noise around. Moving on to one of Sting's greatest songs, One World Not Three. One world is it is an impeccable groove that kind of is a mantra through the whole thing. You know, what a sentiment. And to have the gospel choir on that and the great Angelique Kijo, who's, uh, who's royalty at this point in terms of uh, artists around the world, to have her singing with Sting on this classic track from the Ghost in the Machine record that uh, Sting recorded with the police is extraordinary. We got a great horn section coming in, including Clark Gayton, who was played on the road with Sting and on the road with Springsteen. Clark Gayton is playing the sousaphone on that one, so that's gonna be fun. One, two, three. Graham Nash is going to do Our House, and I got sent a wonderful recording that he had done live in tribute to Joni Mitchell uh, for her 75th birthday. And it's just such a beautiful song about family and warmth. I'll light the fire. You place the flowers in the vase that you bought today. And it had such a poignancy in this particular version that I actually took the recording and kind of learned the pacing of it. So when I went to play Graham's piano part so that I could record the strings and get the choir, uh, I totally copped that performance. It's so beautiful. For me. And the chorus that's gonna sing with Graham on Our House have become a really famous kind of youth chorus uh, in the metropolitan area. It's called the Brooklyn Youth Chorus and they've, they've won a bunch of awards. They've been recording with some extraordinary modern classical composers. The windows are illuminated by the They're extraordinary, and they're gonna be singing with Sting on Fragile, which is Sting's second song. With Fragile, again, I use the strings. We're basically gonna put the kids on and put the strings on, and then Sting's gonna re-sing it again for this event. Lest we forget how fragile we are.
Last but certainly not least, Elvis Costello. Somebody on the team suggested, is there any way Elvis would sing What's So Funny About Peace, Love, and Understanding, which is an amazing song written by Nick Lowe, who produced some of, uh, pro produced some of Elvis's early records. And, you know, Elvis has so much on his plate, and he's just released this great record, Hey, Clockface. And at the same time, he's recording another record. He never stops that I felt really sheepish about asking him. So I wrote him this long email, Elvis, we're doing this thing for the David Lynch Foundation, teaching people meditation, transcendental meditation. It, it has helped so many kids in crisis and PTSD soldiers. Would you please sing What's So Funny About Peace, Love, and Understanding, you know, in 2020? And I didn't hear from him for about a week, and I thought, oh God. I've, I've probably you know, pushed my luck here. And of course, I get a casual, kind, and effusive email from Elvis that weekend. Oh, sure, man. I, anytime I can sing Nick's song, it's particularly appropriate right now. So, of course, that made my frickin' weekend. Where are the strong? Oh, the strong. Who are the trusted? Who are the trusted? You know, with Steve Naive, and Davy Farragher and Pete Thomas, that band he's got, Elvis Costello and the Imposters, they call themselves now, that groove is so inimitable that I, I just could not try to reinvent it. So we had Steve Jordan on drums and Larry Campbell on guitar. Larry was with Bob Dylan's band for years and has played a lot with Elvis. And we had Zev Katz on bass, incredible New York bass player. And I said, let's just do it. Let's try to channel the imposters. This wicked world, search and for light in the darkness of insanity. I, I called Rebecca Lovell and Megan Lovell from the band Larkin Poe. They're an incredible duo that do, do blues and Americana music. I called them to see if they would sing with Elvis because they used to sing with Elvis on the road. And I'm hoping Megan plays an electric dobro solo and they're gonna do that. And uh, yeah, so that's the vibe. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the list right there. The David Lynch Foundation, I mean, David is such an artist that in order to spread the word about transcendental meditation, in order to bring out the truth about the healing quality of this technique, David always brings artists together. And it, it's just a gift from the heavens. And so all I can say is thank you. It's a joy, you know, to be able to do this together. Thank you to David Lynch, Bob Ross, and putting it all on.